What's going on fam and welcome back to my channel. My name is Willie and today I will be showing you my daily night routine. If you're new to my channel, I am a C5, C6 quadriplegic. I am currently in my home office. Now I do this routine religiously whatever time I decide to go to bed. I'm usually on my computer finishing up work pretty late, like stuff for you guys or just watching YouTube tutorials. Like lately I've been trying to stay busy since I have a few things going on in my life. I really hope this video helps you out if one day you decide to live independently like I do. I normally have a provider during the day that helps me out, but at nights it's all about me and nobody helping me get to bed. I'm barely finishing up here, so let me just shut this computer down really quick for you guys. It's about 1am, so uh, let's get this video going. Now, if you've seen my uh, previous videos, I was living with somebody for a few years and now I live alone. So there's a lot I've learned these past few years, you know, good or bad. I speeded up this video a bit to cut down on time spent filming since there's a few camera angles I wanted to get for you guys to see better. I do have a super period catheter and I will first show you how I empty my urine bag. Now, the way I do it is I tilt the bag uh, so the urine goes towards the top of the bag. This way I avoid anything being spilled on me. Uh, I just make sure the bag isn't leaking, you know, from wear and tear. So be careful if you decide to do this. Once I have tilted the bag and let the let it drain, uh, just remember to shake it real good, you know, just in case there's a little, little bit of urine in the tube. Now, it's pretty much the same process to close it. I struggle a bit, but it's not too bad. I usually drain my bag, my urine bag two times a day and before I go to bed, whether there's a little or a lot. Urine's a little dark since I'm taking medication, so it changes the color. So please guys, remember to drink plenty of water. UTIs are a nightmare. Although I use my wheelchair gloves to open the urine bag, I always make sure to wash my hands afterwards. I really don't like touching my toothbrush or anything around the sink where my gloves um, they're pretty dirty and you know I'm a very clean guy when it comes to this so this is very essential for me especially at the end of the day you know just to make sure that uh, my hands are not too dirty and of course brushing my teeth now I do have uh, a tube which has a little pop off top uh, I used to have the screw on top but it was more of a workout you know trying to get the top back on so using this pop off top has been pretty easy and since I live alone you know it's just pretty much me now using an electric toothbrush has been a lot better than using the standard it's it's a lot better, it's a lot cleaner, it gets more stuff out than it usually did with the previous toothbrush that I used, to, I used to use. And now I know that I brushed my teeth for a few seconds, but I pretty much just speeded up the video so you guys could get, you know, uh, an idea of how I brush my teeth. Now I normally keep a little cup on the top where the mirror is, just so I could rinse because I cannot reach the sink. So this helps me out a lot. Now I make sure to rinse the cup and once I have, I put it back where I got it from. Now before I finish, I always rinse with mouthwash. Uh, it tends to get some of the stuff out that might have been left behind. It normally works. Now, unfortunately, it is a screw top. Um, the little bottle was a lot better than the bigger bottle. Uh, the, bi the bigger bottle was too heavy for me to, you know, hold on to and way too slippery since my hands are wet at this point. So this pretty much worked off a lot better. Now, I got pretty lucky this time putting the top on. Usually it takes me a little bit longer. So practice makes perfect, guys. And as you can see, everything slides off my hands. 
So I make sure, you know, I don't have any toothpaste in my face. Uh, I dry my hands. I do not want to touch my wheels with my hands away. And there you go. I usually leave one light on, which is the one in the hall. I make sure that I turn off the rest of the lights. I sometimes leave the TV on for background noise. That's just a personal preference. But usually the reason I leave the light on is because in case there's an emergency and you know EMS needs to get through, you know, they can at least get a visual of the apartment and you know come to me right away. So that is the reason. So after I'm done with that, I make sure to put my chair next to my bed as close as possible. I do have a weight that's at the bottom. Uh, the reason I have that weight at the bottom is to put the chair so it won't move because unfortunately I do not have a right break, only a, a left break. So this pretty much helps me stop the chair from moving once I transfer into bed. But before I do, I make sure that, you know, if there's anything on my lap, I go ahead and put it in, you know, or throw it into bed. Using my wheelchair gloves, it, it really helps me uh, grip once I transfer into bed. I've tried transferring just without them and it's pretty difficult because my hands are very, very smooth. So I tend to, you know, slide all over the place. So if you'll notice, once I put the board, I do have something around my neck and that's my call alert. I usually keep it with me. Uh, reason being is because I, I don't want to risk falling and not being able to call anybody. So I make sure that that is always on me when I'm about to transfer into bed and call it a night. Now, as you can see, my bed is slightly higher from my wheelchair. I recently added a frame at the bottom, so it gave it a little bit of height. But, you know, due to the fact that I'm working out and I stay active, this isn't too bad. So I'm able to get into bed pretty, pretty easy in my opinion. Now, once I slide it onto bed, I normally throw my legs on top of the chair just so I can scoot back once I got them up there. This really helps me, you know, try to push back and get into bed. That way I can throw my legs on top real quick because my legs are pretty long and I need a little bit of room. Now, once I throw my legs on top, I always try to make sure that my urine bag does not get caught with anything. So guys, if you have a Foley bag, I really, really suggest you be careful when you're transferring. Now, once I'm in bed, I always, always remove my tennies and socks. Uh, sometimes my tennies tend to kind of fly off because I kind of pull them off with, you know, a lot of strength and well, they tend to go everywhere sometimes. And uh, one thing that I do want to add on to this is you always, always want to make sure to take off your socks. I have woken up in the morning when I wouldn't remove my socks and my feet were so swollen, they looked like little footballs. So always remember to remove your socks. It restricts blood and, you know, it cuts circulation. I always try to put everything on the chair, but unfortunately, I tend to just kind of throw it to the side.
Now, before I lay down, I tend to put uh, one pillow behind me just to kind of give me a little bit of support. I'm not ready to call it a night yet. And because I still got a few, few little things to finish off. And especially because I tend to forget sometimes to take my medication. So that's something very, very important before I turn off the lights. Now, medications I take is Baclofen, uh, Docusit for bowel movement, and uh, I drink a cholesterol medication. I really can't recall the name right now. It's kind of new to me. And of course, always keep my water next to my bed. Now, once I've taken my medication, I will remove my shirt and this is where my gloves really, really help out. Because the shirts that I wear, they tend to be pretty fit. Uh, I'm not really into loose clothing. And pulling it off just with the gloves, you know, gives it that good friction. So I'm able to kind of pull the shirt forward and be able to take it off. Now, normally in the summer, I take off my pants just simply because it's it gets really, really hot in my apartment. But since it's kind of getting chilly, I tend to leave my pants or sweats on. Uh, unless they're jeans that I, I do remove them. I really don't like to be too choked up with clothing, but these sweats are pretty comfy. Now, I always turn to my left. I make sure that my urine bag is kind of hanging off the bed so it can drain. And I'm ready to remove the pillow. And to turn off the light, I use a curtain rod, a standard urine rod, I mean a curtain rod. That way the end kind of hooks and hits the, the light the switch light I'm sorry and I tend to put the the curtain rod inside the glove so that's how I pretty much hold it if you can see I slide it in the glove now I do want to say living alone has great benefits and challenges it's easy to isolate yourself from the world and fall into depression and become antisocial so stay active and positive guys it's not easy it's 3 a.m. guys and it's time for me to hit the sack. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.